vid Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a program uh, to output permutations in Python. So let's first take a look at permutation. Uh, a permutation is uh, given some objects, and you want to output all the possible permutations. Let's say we have uh, object one, character A. And the fourteen point point five. Then the program will output a one zero point five, a zero point five and one. One zero point five, a a uh, zero point five. 1 and a, 0 0.5, a and 1. So total number of permutations for three objects is 3 factorial, which is equal to 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. Now let's take a look at the recursive permutation. So basically, we have three objects: so one, a, and zero point five. So what we do is we're gonna fix the first number of first object one, and permutate the rest. In this case, a and zero point five. So when we fixed the first object a, one, and we permutate the rest. In this case, we got a 0 0.5, that's one permutation for these two objects. And also 0 0.5 and a, so only two possible permutations. And each of them would have to prefix with the fixed one in the leading. So it turns out we have the 1, a 0 0.5 and 1. 0.5 a2 permutations. So we can do the same thing uh, by swap 1 and a, the first element, and the second, and fix the a. And we do the permutation on 1 and 0 0.5. And again, we got 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 1. So there are two there. So we do the same thing to swap the first element again to the third element, which is 0 0.5 will be the leading fixed element or object. And we have the 1, A permutation and A1. So all together we have 0 0.5, 1, A, 0 0.5, A1. So this is the basic of the recursive permutation. So We will use a pseudo code you know, to describe this program. Okay. But in order to do that, we need to find when we need to stop the recursion, which is the initial condition. So initial condition is if you try to figure out one element or one object, the permutation is itself. And if it is empty, empty list, then the permutation is empty. So this is the initial condition that we need to stop to go deeper in the recursion function call. So we can, you know, using we can uh, write down the pseudo code like a permutation. It will receive the list to be permutated. Okay, and the first thing we need to do is we check the recursive initial condition which is, you know, the two cases above. The first one is if it's only one element, then we don't need to do anything, just return itself as a list. And if it's empty, we return the empty list. And if not empty, then we just go over uh, each element in the list by swapping the first element and each of the elements in the list. Then we fix the first element and attach that to 
all the permutation of the sublist and that will be the end result so the first element I put F that means fixed and then we permutate the rest of the elements in the list in that case I call it sublist so the sublist is the list that uh, the first element is removed and that is the algorithm so now get into the uh, Python programming and I use a Jupyter lab uh, to program this Python program so first I will put some comments the comments uh, I put it there basically to describe <coughs> what the program is doing so I start with the permutation and that's a comment everything start with the uh, hash or palm sign uh, it's the comments in Python program so the input is a list of objects and output will be a list of lists each of them will be one permutation and in the Python the list can contain objects of different types and we're gonna exercise this later so we first create a function named perm or permutation and this function will receive a list a list of objects in Python can be of a variety of types so a list can contain integer, floating point, character and all that so first I will check if the list is empty all the list so it contains one element then we need to return so the length function allows us to check the number of elements in the list so if this is the number of element of this is one or is empty then we we'll return so to return basically return a list of itself then in the else part is where we design our recursive function so in other words you will have a list uh, one element so we first created a variable called sublist which is a, a variable that will contain the list of permutations from the sub list so we're gonna do the same thing for each sublist created by swap the first element of the element we want to create a sublist permutation so we let i goes from 0 to the last element in the list so we can say for i in range length sublist and the length sublist will return the size of the list and i will iterate over 0 1 2 3 all the way to the size of list minus 1 so we first do the swap the first element which the first element has index 0 so this is 0 and list i we want to swap the value two values okay in the python this is the way to do the swap without temporary variable in other programming languages you want you might have to have a temporary variable to do the swap so the python will allow you to do that in one statement so it say this this the sub zero comma this is sub i is equal to this sub i comma list sub zero so basically this will swap the first 
element with the ice element in the list. So once we swap the first element and the ice element, and we can go ahead to call the permutation function itself to deal with the sublist permutations. So you can say sublist receive the value returned by the perm function, which we define it here, and by passing the list with the first element removed. Okay, so you can say this sub one column the length of list. Now I notice that I did not put it in. Now I'll come back to fix that later. So after that, the sub list will contain a list of permutations from the sub list permutation. And we want to assemble the final result by adding the first element, the fixed element, to each of the permutations returned from the sublist. So the Python way to do that is that we can add the list sub zero to a list and add each of the permutations returned from the sublist permutation. So we use another index j to go over each of the elements or each of the permutations coming back from the sublist permutation. So in the Python's way you can put it into the list and then say for j in range of length so list okay so this is gonna go over every single list which is a permutation coming back from the sub list permutation then we form this list of lists or list of permutations and accumulate it into the return value. And I got some typo here, and then we're going to fix that later. Return value also not defined. We need to read, we need to define the return value. Okay. So after the end of the for loop, so we, we can just return the return value, which is the result for that iteration. So we can call the function print per and then give it a list. And notice that we got some errors because I still have passed a list not as three arguments. Therefore there are three positional arguments error. So to fix that simply you know I can just put the list of 1, A, and 0 0.5 and then that should solve the problem. And also I got some variable or oh, return value is not defined. We need to define that one as well. And I got some typos. So we'll fix that. And by the way this process is called debug. When you have a program, it's not working. So you want to uh, fix the box in your program. So I'm going to demonstrate how to fix that. Okay, so you need to read the error message carefully. So here is a type errors. Okay. And then it has a error point two nine sixteen. It's a perm. Okay, type errors. It, that's because we should have passed a list as an argument rather than three 
arguments. Okay. So I also need to fix the, the typo return value. So the return val. Okay. And return val also has to be defined. I initialize to empty list because it's gonna be a list as well. And also the list one column to the end of the list that's we used to form sub list. So you should put a length sub list. Okay, so that indicate I want from the second element all the way to the last element to form our sub list. So after that then when you hit enter you will get the permutation like this. Okay, and notice that we have one as the integer, a as a character, data type and the point five as a floating point. So I got a one a point five one zero point five a and an a 1.05 a 0.51 and 0.51 a and 0.5 a 1 so these are the six permutations for the three objects now you can add some more elements to it so the f5 6 and abc for example so if you hit enter you get the permutations that give you the all, all the permutations okay so that is the recursive versions of Python programming.